please show the support guys if you like this video then please hit the like button like this and also share this video by hitting this share button and please hit this red subscribe button and turn all notifications by selecting all so you will get all the notifications of my channel it is totally free uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be creating a image resizer in node.js application so this is the interface you can see that here you can just choose any kind of image here uh, let's suppose I select this image and if I upload this image so it will upload the image and it will tell me the width and the height of the image you can see that this is the width and this is the height and here you can just provide your custom width and height let's suppose I resize to 200 width and 200 height and this is a resize button so if I click it so there will be a image being downloaded you can see that in the attachment and if I open this image, you will see that this image has been resized to 200 width and 200 height here. Let me also show in, let me just go to the directory and if I show you, you can see that the width has become 200 and the height has become 133. So this is a short little application that we will be building. So for the image resizing function, we are using a Node.js library which is graphics magic. It's a open source Node.js library for doing image related functions. So you can just download it by executing npm install gm. And all the source code of this application is given in the video description. So this is a GitHub repository. You can see that node image resize. So all the source code is given here. So you can just clone this GitHub repository. And now let's start building this application from scratch. So just go to desktop and right click and create a new folder just give this as a node resizer project so open this folder inside command prompt and initialize a new node project by initializing npm init dash y so this will create the package dot json file with the default options now you just need to install the dependencies first of all we will install express so this will be our server and the second dependency will be body parser this will be useful in order to get the request and third dependency will be Malter. Malter will be responsible for handling the image upload and the fourth dependency will be image size so basically this is a dependency in order to get the dimensions of the image so if you go to npm here and if you search for image size here so there will be a module called as image size so it will get the dimensions of any image file so it will get the original dimensions that is width and height and it will be very useful in order to display those dimensions on the web page so we need this so just write this and also we will be needing node more so node more is a library which will automatically restart our server when we make any kind of changes so enter it so it, this will take some time depending upon your internet connection so it will install all these modules and create a node modules folder and uh, just wait for a while so all this uh, source code is there inside the visual studio so there is a restriction on uh, the image type you can upload png jpg there is no uh, just uh, restriction on that let me see if it is still installing here still installing so just wait for a while let me see if i pick a png file now if i upload this so if i wanted to resize it to 500 500 resize so it will be doing the same process so you can upload png or jpg image dependingly so it has successfully installed it now we will be opening this inside uh, visual studio code by executing this command code dash so this will open this file inside visual studio let me just uh, stop the previous server which was running let me just close this and this has created guys this package.json file let me just show you in the dependency sections you are seeing that body parser express image size malter and not one is installed here and now we just need to create our uh, index.js file which will be the starting point of our application 
and one more thing that you need to do inside your package or json just add a start script so here just add this start script node more index or js so this will be we will just write here in the command prompt which will be npm start that's it so this will start our server uh, with the help of node more and now inside this we will just make a simple express app so first of all require the express module we will be making a app here app is equal to express and we will be using the app dot listen function we will be listening on port 5000 and the second function will be a callback function which will be telling us in the console that the server is listening on port 5000 so now if i refresh the application you will see that it will restart the server if i make any kind of change and it will be telling me in the console that uh, server is listening on port 5000 you can see that and now we just need to import some other dependency which is body parser so body parser and require it we need to initialize this body parser middleware so we will use just after you declare your express app app dot use and here we use body parser dot json and one other line which is app dot use body parser dot url encoded and inside this we will pass extended to true so this will initialize our body parser and now you also need to import malter so this will be responsible for uploading the image file so for malter we just need to initialize our storage engine so for that we will be making a storage variable so inside this we will be calling malter dot storage and inside this first of all we will pass the destination option so where you want to store your images so this is a callback function which takes three arguments request file and callback so in the first argument we pass null and in the second argument we uh, pass the directory name where you want to store your images so right here inside this root directory create a uploads folder so inside this folder we will be storing all the images which will be resizing and the next option is take is the file name so what file name that you want to give to your files so this is again a callback function so inside this first argument is null and the second argument is the file name and the file name will be equal to file dot field name and then we will concatenate it by a dash symbol so here inside the single quotes you write dash and then we will concatenate using the date now function to add some randomness inside our uh, file name and then we will use the path module to get the extension so here we just need to include the path module path is equal to require so we just need to require this uh, pot, uh, path module here so now we just need to use this uh, path function path dot extension name and here we just need to pass uh, file dot original name so this will get the original name of the file that's it so now we just need to uh, make another variable which will be upload so we just need to initialize this option so malter inside this option we will initialize the storage to storage that's it so this will initialize malter for us now we just need to make a simple get request in order to load our page here so app dot uh, get so app dot get when we load the home page we just need to render out a egs template sorry guys i forgot to tell you one other module will be required which will be ejs so right here npm install ejs so ejs is a template engine for rendering out html inside of a node.js application so this will install this module in the background so just wait and when it is done installing execute the npm start again so this will start the server and just wait and here you just need to tell the express application to use this ejs module so first of all you right here just go after when you initialize your express app right here this is the option here app dot set here you pass view engine view engine 
and in the second argument you pass ejs and here you when whenever you make a get request on the home route you just need to response dot render so here we will be writing index we will not be specifying the extension which is ejs so right here inside our root directory we need to create a, another folder which will be views inside this we will create this index dot ejs file which will hold our html for us so here you can just write anything let's suppose uh, we have the form inside this so this will be a simple heading so just wait my keyboard is also so inside this heading we will be having uh, uh, node resize node resize image so inside this we will be having a simple form the method will be post and the action will be going to the ho home route so then we will also need to write the encoding type which will be multi-part form data so inside this we will be having a simple input type is equal to file and we will be giving a name attribute to to which will be image so that we can just uh, target this inside of a node.js application so close it and after that we will also be having input type of submit and the value will be upload upload the image and now we just need to handle this post request which is coming inside this index.ejs file so right here let me just restart my server so if I open this you will see that this upload form will be there if I go to localhost 5000 you will see that node resize image there is a choose file button and an upload button and uh, now in order to handle this post request you just need to go to index.js and write a simple app.post and now when we make a post request on the home route we just need to use upload.single and here we will pass the image the name attribute that we have given inside index.ejs and uh, this will take the third argument it will take is the callback function request response and comma next so here we just need to first of all check that if the file has been successfully uploaded so request dot file so if it is not uploaded then we write an explanation mark here so if it is not uploaded we will be sending out an error to the user response.send you will just say that please upload a file oh please upload an image sorry and in the else block we will say that uh, image uploaded So we are using this upload variable that we have initialized to malter here you can see that and now if I and one other thing guys I forgot here I need to make this uploads folder static so that the express applications can store images inside this so right here we just need to use app.use inside this we just need to pass the path of this folder which is slash uploads and then we just need to write express.static and here we just need to use path module path dot join path dot join and here we just need to concatenate directory name and then we will be uh, inside this single quotes we will provide our directory name which is uh, slash uploads that's it so this will make this as static directory which is uploads here and now if I execute my application if I restart the server it is saying that missing on parentheses let me just see where it is saying that the parentheses is missing oh here it is telling me let me just see okay. 
request response so this will be a callback function sorry guys Re request response and next so this just add this arrow here so this was the error guys so just correct this error and now restart the server and now if I reload the server choose any kind of file let's suppose I choose this file upload it so you will see that image uploaded and now if I check my folder which is there inside uh, you can see that the uploads folder one image has been successfully uploaded and now we just need to display this image on the screen so for that we will be making a simple another file inside of a views folder so this time this file will be image dot ejs so inside this we just need to make an image track and give a source attribute to it for that we just need to here pass the data to our view so for that first of all we just need to response dot render and inside this we will pass our name so inside this we will pass uh, uh, image dot ejs and followed by the data that we need to pass so first of all we will pass the full url of the image which is there inside uh, request file dot path and second information we will pass is the name of the file which is request dot file dot uh, file name this is the and the last two things that we need to pass is the width and the height of the original image so let me just first of all show the image so here we will be having image source tag so just wait my keyboard is not working so image source uh, here we just need to bind a variable so in order to bind a variable we will be using angular bracket percentage style is equal to and then we will be writing the variable name that we have given inside index.js you can see that url so here we just need to close it so percentage sign close the symbol and now if i reload the application so this will display the image also so now if i choose the file and if i select this file upload it so you will see that the image is uploading here and it is also rendering, rendering out the image also so in this way you can render out the image and now guys we just need to have a form here form will be method will be post again and the action will be slash resize slash uploads and slash the name of the file so here we again want to write uh, dollar uh, angular we need to write the name of the file which is there inside this variable name so here we will write name that's it and then we will close the close this by like this so this will make this request here so inside this form we will be having a simple first of all we will be displaying the original dimensions of the image so for that we just need to now import our image size mo uh, module so right here at the top we just need to import this module so this will be image size so we need to require our image size module uh, just wait guys my keyboard is so image size just import this module and now we just need to use this module here so we will use this module here and image size and here we will pass the full path of the image which is located in request.file dot path that's it and now we will make a new variable dimensions this will hold the dimensions of the image and here we just need to pass the width and the height so we will make two more variables width so just wait guys my keyboard is Here you just need to write width here <laughs> so just put a w here and here we will be writing dimensions comma width uh, 
sorry guys my keyboard is not working so that is why you are facing this problem here you just need to write dimensions width just wait i am pressing the sh uh, shift key to correct my keyboard so just wait here just wait guys two more seconds wait and i am correcting my keyboard this keyboard is a very bad keyboard so now i can type here so just wait so here we are passing our things here inside uh, let me just so we are passing the width and the height here so just here we want to delete this so so now guys we just need to pass the width and the height so just make a width variable here so this will be equal to dimensions dot width and put a comma and we will be having the height also so put a height and this will be dimensions dot height that's it and now you just need to go to image dot ejs file and here inside a h1 tag you will write Uh, width of image this will be equal to whatever be the value which is there so we just need to write again this percentage sign is equal to width so this will be small w so we just need to close this and similar thing that we, we need to repeat it for the height also And apart from that guys we also want to have uh, two more input fields which will be type of number which will be getting the width and the height from the user the customizable width and height so this will be type number again and the name will be equal to height And lastly we will be having a submit button which will be resize image so that's it so now if I refresh the application and now if I re again uh, upload an image so you will see that it will display the width of image and height of image original width and height and here you can just write your customizable width and height and then click the resize image and now guys we just need to make the sing uh, the last post route which is there that is slash resize slash uploads followed by the name of the image so just go to index.js and right here we will make a post route so this is a post write route that we need to make here so put uh, now guys we just need to make the last post request which will be app dot post so here we just need to pass uh, resize slash uploads followed by we just need to get the query parameter that we are passing inside image dot ejs this is the name of the file let me just name it as path so this will be again a callback function arrow function so here we just need to get uh, all the things here first of all we will be getting the image which will be equal to request dot params dot uh, path so you will be getting the query parameter so this will get the path of the image that is passed here the name of the image so now we will be using the 
graphics magic module in order to resize the image right so right here at the top we will be including that so we will be requiring it that's it and after requiring it we just need to pass uh, gm function we will use it first of all we will concatenate it with the uploads directory we will pass the image here that's it now we will be resizing it by using this resize function which is there inside it and now we will pass the width and the height width and height of the image which we can get easily by first of all declare the width which will be request dot body dot width and for the height we can do the similar thing which will be this time height uh, in the similar fashion which we can just get the height by request dot body dot height and now we can just pass this width and height inside this function in resize function that's it and in order to convert it into a we will use the right function and let me just rename this to we will be converting it to output dot png so this takes a callback function which contains the error so if any kind of error take place we can just send that error to the user by using response dot send and if no error take place we can just download the image as an attachment and we will be using output dot png as the address that's it let me just copy here and then paste it so this completes the application and now if I test the application if I restart the server uh, it is saying that cannot find module GM We have installed this module in the package.json file. I think that we forgot to do so. So just uh, let me just install it. npm install. So now we will install this module by executing npm install gm. So this will install this module really quick. So just wait. So this hardly takes few minutes. So now you can see that the module has been successfully installed and it has got added in the package.json file. And now if I reload the application by executing the command, which is npm start, this will start the server for us. So just wait, it is starting. And now if I again ref go to localhost 5000, choose any file, let's suppose I choose this file, upload this file, you will see that the, the width is, you can see that 1080 and the height is 1080. Let me resize it to uh, 200. and the height also 200 and if I resize image so this will download this image inside 200 200 and if I open this image now you will see that it will get re reduced to 200 200 you can see that let me also show the dimensions to it in the downloads folder you can see that 200 comma 133 so in this way guys you can just build this application from scratch so thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much